You mentioned the heavyweight division. I, I, can I ask you just a question what many American fight fans are thinking? How would you trust Eddie Hearn in negotiating the fight if you had to negotiate a fight with uh, <laughs> yeah, I <Anthony> wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. No, but look, uh, I think... I think I, I am of the opinion that if a fight is so big that you need to do, you, you cannot leave any stones unturned and you need to do whatever you can to make those fights happen because ultimately as a promoter you have a responsibility to your fighter uh, to uh, generate as much money as you can. And uh, when you have a fight which is in magnitude so much bigger than any other fight, uh, Wilder and, and Joshua, then you've got you've got to make it. You can't wait. And but and you know the fact is one guy is going to lose and one guy is going to win, right? So what does that tell you? There's going to be a rematch. So there are going to be at least two fights. There potentially might be three. When you have that and the stars are aligned and get it done, get it done. Not getting it done is really not 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 not. It's not good for the sport. It's not good for the fighters. And it's just sort of like you know. It's a shame, and who knows if it's going to happen? I, I personally think eventually it will, but you know who knows if one—it's—it's it's boxing. One guy might lose, and then what happens?